Hello everyone, I just wanted to come to you today and just ask for you to go to God for some solace, for some peace, for some joy, for some love, because the world right now is losing its mind. And I know that a lot of people are frustrated. Maybe they're angry. Maybe you're sad. Maybe you are confused. Maybe you're feeling like, okay, why am I being attacked by other people? because of your views or because of what you believe or because of a response that you put out on social media, for example. Well, I'm just trying to come to you from a God view of the world, from a person who has found the Lord and has been transformed from a basket case, <laughs> an absolute basket case, someone who would probably be an alcoholic and a pothead, no question, times 10 in these days because I wouldn't know how to deal with this. But today, just today, in the Gospel readings, it was all about God. All about going and loving our Lord with all our mind, body, soul, and strength. And only if you do that can you do the second greatest commandment, which is love thy neighbor as thyself. It's hard to love everyone, including your enemies, including the people who don't agree with you, including the people who are persecuting you, including the people who you think are downright evil. But you can do it with God's help, with God's love and with the Holy Spirit in your soul. Come, Holy Spirit, come transform me, enkindle in me the fire of your love. And that is what I want to bring to the world. The world needs more love. The world needs more God. The world needs unity. And that means respecting every person on the planet because we're all children of God. We all deserve to be here. None of us is better than the other. I don't care what your skin color, eye color, hair color, body shape, style, socioeconomic status, what your vocation is professionally or in the world. I. It doesn't matter who or what you do, who you are, what you look like. God created you for a purpose and a reason. And you deserve to be on this planet as much as I do. And we need to love each other and respect each other, help each other, pick each other up, care about one another. And that is what I am just coming to everyone to try and go deep into their soul call on the Spirit and say, Lord God, please give me your love so that I can bring it to the world that is in so much hate, division, anger, so that I can bring this love and peace to people who are anxious and worried and concerned. There's a lot going on right now. And I'm telling you, because of my prayer life, because of my humility and getting on my knees and going to God every single day, giving him myself and everything that I say and do, I have this peace and this joy. And that is why I put these videos together so that I could hopefully bring a little of that to you. And you can have it too. Lord Jesus, come and get me. I want some of that with that chick's got. I want your peace. I want your love. I want to be able to forgive that person. I want to love people as you call me to love them, like I love myself. Hey, you know what, God? I actually want to love myself. I'm kind of in a regretful, ashamed state of being. Like, I'm not real proud of myself right now. So there's a lot of things that God can heal and fix if you just ask him in. So I love you. I pray for all of you. I'm not kidding. I pray and I fast and I want the, the Holy Spirit to renew the face of the earth and to get out and clean up the evil and the hurt and the pain and the destruction. God loves you no matter who you are and you are here for a reason. And our main reason, the two main reasons, the two greatest commandments, number one is to love thy only God, God. Jesus Christ, the Father, and the Holy Spirit, with all thy mind, body, soul, and strength. And let's not forget about number two, 
which is love thy neighbor as thyself. Those are not easy to do without God in you. So I pray that you pray. I pray that you just ask him to come in and that you find some peace right now and then share that with the people in your life and with the world on social, in your family, in a text, on a phone call. And I'll keep you all in my heart because it is all about us and bringing people to Jesus is what I'm trying to do so that you can not only live in peace, love, kindness, being generous on this earth, but you can also live forever in eternity in heaven with Jesus. Okay, everyone, have a blessed and inspired day. Take care.